Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali and in the previous tutorial as you know that using the Firebase Recycler Adapter Latest and New Version we retrieved all the users from our Firebase database alongside with the user information on our Find Friends activity. Now in this video tutorial we will uh, add a Firebase Recycler Adapter set on click listener so that whenever uh, I mean the item click listener so whenever a user click on any profile here that is let's say if I click on Mohammed Ali profile then it should get the unique user ID of this user Mohammed Ali and then by that unique user ID we can retrieve all the information of this Mohammed Ali on the profile activity which we will create now in this video tutorial and let me tell you that after that we will create a uh, in the next video tutorial we will create a search box here at the top so and a search button so that a user can search for the new friends or you can say uh, then our find friends activity will be completed so yeah let's do that first of all the firebase recycler adapter item click listener so here you can see inside our own start method we have this on bind view uh, holder here we are basically set the username uh, status and the profile image using picasso library so here we can say by using the object of find friends view holder class okay so here we can simply say holder dot item view and this item view is basically uh, an object inside our uh, find friend view holder i mean if i scroll down here then this is our static class find friend view holder and this is the object of the view i mean if a user click on any of these field if a username i mean if it is a status or a profile image that is if a user click here or here or here okay then we should get his id i mean of the the id the unique user id of that user so then we can say dot set on click listener new on click listener and make here we can simply create a string type variable in which we will get the unique user id so it uh, we will give it a name as visit user underscore id that is we want to visit that is let's say i am an online user and let's say my name is uh, peter parker okay so if i click on muhammad ali profile then it will send me to the muhammad ali profile activity where i can see all the information about this user whose name is muhammad ali so that's why i give it a proper name which is visit user id dot get ref which is this one and then we can pass the position to it okay which is our this integer uh, data type so it will basically uh, get the position that is on any uh, item here we click that is let's say on gr roberts then it will get the position of that object so that we can get the unique user id of that after uh, i mean after getting the position so here we can say dot get key so first it will get the position that is let's say if i click on gr roberts then the position of this is one two three four okay and then uh, once it get the position then it basically we know that now we can easily get the key of that item so we are getting the key and we are uh, storing that key inside this visit user id string data type variable and now let's create a profile activity so here we can create profile activity an empty activity so that we can send the user to that activity and by using the this id this unique visit user id we can display the user information so we can call this as profile activity click finish and our activity is created successfully and synced successfully okay so now here uh, what we're gonna do is that this is our uh, profile activity so from here uh, we can simply create an intent to send the user to this profile activity and we can pass this visit user id to that activity so by using this unique user id we can retrieve all the information here on our profile activity so yeah let's do that so here we can say intent and we can give it a name as profile intent equals to new intent we are on the find friends activity so we can say find friend activity dot this and we want to send the user to the profile activity dot class 
so make sure to put a semicolon here and then we can start the activity for the flow file intent and we want to send this uh, ID so we can say for file intent dot put extra and we can give it the same name which is this one with it user ID okay so pass that here inside this quotation then comma and pass that here also now we have to uh, receive this ID on our profile activity so for that I can simply come here and here we need to create a string type variable and let's give it a name as sender user ID not sender it will be the receiver that is in future you can give it any name you want okay for now I am giving it a proper name because in the upcoming tutorials we will a user can send a message to that person so that's why I give it a name receiver user ID so here we can say receive user ID equals to now to get this ID from our find friends activity which is the visit user ID here we can say get intent dot get extras dot get and inside this get we should uh, give the key value here I mean this key value okay make sure to use the same one so copy this from here and pass that here dot to string so in this way we will receive this uh, receiver user ID so now let's display this either if we are uh, retrieving this uh, or not so we are on the this is a toast message so here we can simply pass this and we can say user ID we just want to check either if it is working or not so that we can uh, later on display the proper information of that user by using this unique user ID so let's run the app you can see that the app is running now successfully and now if I go to the find friends activity and also alongside with that let's check the database so if I click on let's say Mohammed Ali share profile then here you can see this is the user ID which starts from F and you can see this is the ID F and if I show you then this is Mohammed Ali share profile also if I show you the authentication then you can see this which is start from F this is Ali share profile let's go and check for another user let's say Peter Parker so it is RJX okay and RJ okay RJX it is the Peter Parker, Parker ID and if I show you from here also then here you can see Peter Parker so now we have uh, retrieved the I mean now we get the unique user ID of that user so now in the next video tutorial what we will be doing is that we will create image field and two text view for the name and the username so that we can retrieve all the information of a user here on the profile activity and then we will add a send message request button we will work on that in the uh, next video tutorial and also then we will add a search box and a search button so that user can search for different user here on the find friends activity also so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel calling cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now